Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, it's just going to be a quick one and these are going to be a few of my tips for if you are bidding online at an auction. And what I mean by that is I don't mean eBay sniping or bidding online on eBay. I mean if you are at an auction but you are bidding online. So maybe you're not actually at the auction physically but you are at the auction uh, as an online presence. So um, instead of going down to the auction, you've chose to stay at home and bid online. So I do this quite frequently. I've got a few different tips for if you are doing this, if you're wanting to do this, or if you maybe do it already. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'm not going to ramble. I'm not going to start off by giving a big old spiel. We'll just get right into this. So number one is don't bid as soon as the lot is offered. So whichever auction, online auction site you're bidding on, um, usually the lot will be offered uh, by the auctioneer or obviously by the person who is running the internet side of the auction um, and a price will come up and then you can normally hit the bid button. However, don't bid straight away in most circumstances. There's some circumstances depending on the lot and stuff where you might want to bid straight away but generally I don't bid straight away because what you're waiting for in some circumstances is that auctioneer to drop that price that he's offering the lot out for. So let's say he's offering the lot at £20. Let's say you go ahead and bid straight away. Then you bid at £20 and then it'll start off from there and it'll get bid up. If you wait a minute and maybe other people in the room wait a minute it will get dropped to maybe £10 or £15. So therefore you've saved yourself a little bit of money. Now yes, okay, it might get run up to a similar price anyway, but you've got the best shot of doing it that way to make uh, to sort of make the auction end at a slightly lower price than it may have done by you bidding straight away. So or maybe someone else bidding straight away. I mean of course there's those lots that get offered a fair price and then people just go mad and bid it up like crazy and they're like really desirable lots and stuff but for certain lots where it does pay off not to bid straight away hold out wait for the auctioneer to drop that offer price and then you can bid in and sometimes you might be the only bidder and there might be something in that lot that other people haven't spotted and you've saved yourself money because you just waited that extra, you know, for, well, I, I say minute. Sometimes it does feel like a minute or two. When you're bidding online and you're waiting for them to drop that price, it sometimes feels quite a, quite a long time, but normally it's only about 10, 20 seconds you're waiting. Um, but yeah, you might save yourself some money doing that. I'm not guaranteeing you'll save yourself some money, but it's a good strategy to do. So number two is have the audio and alerts turned on. Now, different bidding sites, this will be different, you know, some might not have auction alerts or, you know, audio for the auctions or video feeds, but if they do, I would encourage you to turn them on. So, what I mean by alert is where you'll have the auction running on your computer and you can go away from your computer as long as you've got your speakers turned up and do whatever you're doing and then you'll get a very very loud alert when your lot's coming up. I don't know whether it signals exactly when your lot is has, has come up or whether it's one before but it's around the time when your lot's coming up so you can go away you can maybe be in the next room or something I wouldn't say go right downstairs the furthest away from your computer you can be or wherever your computer is don't go like the furthest away unless you've got your speakers turned up really loud but um, certainly it means you can go away and do other things and then you hear that alert and you can come back also, what I mean by audio is audio and video feeds are um, a, a good thing, actually, because when you're listening to the auction, you can hear what the auctioneer is saying, and you can pick up on a little bit, you know, you can pick up on them sh those human speech patterns and stuff, and it's quite nice just to even have that presence there, you know, that, that uh, audio there, because it does feel, again, like you're kind of in the room, and, and you can, as I say, you can pick up on things, and you can kind of know when they're going to lower the price or offer a lower price, rather than if you have the audio turned off, you, you really don't know, you're just waiting for that, that figure at the bottom of the page to, to change or go higher or go lower. So when you've got the audio, you can kind of get a bit more of a, a feel for the time scale of the lot and how it's progressing and stuff. And you know, you can feel feel out how fast 
um, you know, the bidding is going or, or how slow. You know, you can do that without the audio, but at the same time, I think it does make it a better experience and it, and it does help you feel more in tune with the auction. Um, unfortunately, on some auction sites, um, well, yeah, so, well, on some auctions, sometimes the audio feed doesn't work, like it'll say it's available, but it's not available, or something like that. I've had a bit of trouble with that, so sometimes it's a bit annoying because you can't actually get the audio, maybe it's technical faults or whatever, but I've had that in the past, so, yeah, it's a little bit annoying. But number three is view, I've, I've put view items online, is that right? Don't, no, I mean, I put that, I wrote down here, view items online. What I mean is view items in person. So when you are, obviously you might want to go through the catalog online first and just have a quick look at what you, what you want, your, you know, what lots you want. And then I would encourage you to go down and view in person because you need you need to do that you need to have a rummage you need to have a look about what what these lots are even if you're only spending a couple of minutes on each lot just having a very quick look oh right yeah that's that that's that you just get a feel of uh, of condition a little bit better you get a feel of the items a little bit more and also the great thing about going down to view an auction is if you would like to you don't have to do this you know if you're maybe not um you know really great socially you can you don't have to talk to people, but you know, talking to people, getting to know the regular dealers there, talking to the auctioneer, it's a great way to um, just, just sort of network and connect with people because if you're known at the auction house, then that's going to be a, a good thing. And the, the downside about bidding online is, you know, you can't meet the regulars there as much. You can't, that is one downside about bidding online. You know, it's great because you're in the comfort of your own home. You're, you're not stand, standing up at an auction house, at which is usually cold as well. You're standing there and you're standing there for six hours or so or three hours or however long you're waiting for your lots to come up or however long spread out your lots are. You know, that is a great thing for it. But the problem is you're not connecting with the people on a personal level, the auctioneer, the, the other dealers and stuff. So, yeah, if you're going down to view, you get that little bit of a connection there anyway and you can sort of make connections and stuff, make contacts and stuff. So, it, yeah, I mean, if you're going down, that's another positive for that. But, yeah, definitely number three, view items in person and number four kind of relates to that it's only a very small point don't rely on online photos or descriptions the online photographs and the online descriptions well even descriptions in general from auction houses aren't that great they're quite vague um, but don't rely upon those online photographs don't rely upon those descriptions even if you're going down to view and you've got a catalog in front of you don't rely even when you're viewing on per in person don't rely on them descriptions make sure you're digging through those boxes and you're seeing what's in there properly so that's number four again ties in with number three quite nicely not a, not a major point but certainly it's something worth noting and number five is to be aware of any additional online fees that you may incur occur um, from bidding online. I think a few sites are around the 2 to 3% mark, so you'll pay 2 or 3% or maybe close to 5% on your, your uh, basically your entire bill for bidding online. So you've got to be aware of that. Make sure that you are uh, factoring that into your cost as well as your hammer price and your VAT or your fees or what you know all these other different things you got you've got to factor that in and I mean of course even if you go into collect yourself you know things like that people don't really factor in you know petrol and stuff like that your own time make sure you're adding all this up when you're bidding and making sure that you are actually going to make some decent profit on the items at the end of the day so yeah, number five is a big one. Make sure that you, of course, check the fees. You know how much more you're going to be paying for bidding online. And obviously then you can assess whether you'd rather just, you know, not have the fee and go down there or whether you would have, you know, you're happy to take the fee for what the online service is giving you. So that's it. That's my five tips. If you have any more tips, because I know there'll be more tips, I've only done this very, very quickly. I might have even missed out a big one, I don't know. But if you have any more tips, if you you know, if you bid online at auction yourself, 
pop them down in the comment section because then if someone who is new to online bidding at auction watches this, they can head down in the comment section and maybe see a few more different tips from other people. So yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you did that, if you do have any more tips or any more feedback. So yeah, go ahead down in the comment section now and fair enough, you know, just whack a comment down there. And anyway, I will leave it there, guys. If you did like the video, please do give it a big like and I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys. Thank you.